Uh, right now I have uh, Windows 7 Pro running in a virtual machine with the Hyper-V Manager, which uh, we talked about how to set that up in a prior video. And uh, as you can see, I'm still on Windows 8. So um, one of the things you can do is log in. I'll log in with my login. And then uh, let's wait for this to come up. Okay. And then we're going to run the control panel. And I'm going to go into systems. And I'm going to go into, let's see how quickly I can find this, allow remote access. So I'm going to set up this uh, virtual machine to allow remote connections. Now, by default, it's set there to not allow remote connections. But I'm going to set it up to allow remote connections. And then I'm going to apply that and choose OK. Close this. Now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to run the command. The command prompt. I'm going to type in IPCONF. F I G and get the IP address of my virtual machine. Now I'm going to go back to Windows 8 and I'm going to type in remote and I'm going to run a remote desktop. Now I'm going to connect from Windows 8 to this virtual machine. So I type in the IP address 192.168 dot zero dot thirty three one ninety two one sixty eight zero three three you can see I've already typed it in before and then I'm gonna go here to show options I'm gonna check my local resources and I want the audio so right now the audio doesn't work but I want to connect there and I want when I play something I want it to play back on my Windows 8 computer I can also set my record from this computer, but I'm recording a video now, so we don't want to do that. So I'm going to choose that. You can also share your printers. Um, there are other things you can do. How big of a screen do we want it to be? Uh, the, the quality of the colors. You know, you can go through your remote desktop. all the options there if you want to but anyways back here then I'm gonna go to connect now it's gonna ask me for the password so I have to give it the password of this virtual machine here and I'm gonna give it and then choose okay now it's gonna come up and ask me it's giving me a certificate that says do I trust this connection and I'm gonna say yes and now I'm in the virtual machine. So now I'm now I'm in Windows 8. I, I remote desktoped into the virtual machine. So this is pretty cool. So just to show you that it actually does work, I'm gonna look for some sound here. And um, I'll go into communications uh, sounds, and uh, you'll have to listen carefully because if I turn my speaker up too loud I'm going to get some feedback can you hear those sounds I hope you can you can probably maybe no volumes turned up a hundred percent on there I can turn the volume up a little bit more on my speaker eventually I'm going to get some feedback though So hopefully you can hear those sounds. And then I can also, you know, just connect to the internet. Because we uh, talked about that before, how to set the internet up on our virtual machine. So we'll go to YouTube. Let's see if we can play a video. 321 Learn is our channel. And uh, let me just choose one of our videos. Yep, we need to get the Flash browser, but it might play as an MP.
And I can get the latest Flash player and then install it on here, I suppose. No, I don't want that. Well, that was pretty quick. Notify me when there's an update. Okay, so it uh, probably downloaded a pre-downloader, but as soon as it installs Flash and gets it working, we should be able to play some uh, YouTube videos. But it is pretty cool that uh, you can connect to your virtual machines. If I go back here while that's installing, if I minimize this, you can see I have... Uh, I'm running four operating systems on the same computer at the same time. I'm running Windows 7 Pro. I'm running Ubuntu, which is a Linux derivative. I'm running Fedora, which is another Linux derivative. And I'm running CentOS, which is a uh, Red Hat Enterprise uh, version. So... The reason why I have those other operating systems on there is because they're free and uh, they're kind of fun to play with. Uh, Windows 7 Pro you need to buy and you'll need to install it. So let's see how the remote desktop session is coming. It's finished. And let's see if it's working. Let's open up a new tab and go to YouTube. Hi, I'm walking my way through a free tutorial out there. On there you go. So you can see that uh, now we've set up our virtual machine to not only play audio, we can load games in here, you can do whatever you want. Uh, it's just a really cool um, new feature with uh, Windows, well, Windows 8 Professional version has uh, the virtualization set up. Uh, we've made a bunch of other videos to show you how to configure everything. So uh, we teach you how to turn on your networking card and how to, um, how to install uh, everything that you need to know. So anyways... Uh, and then uh, to uh, get out of this or to quit this, you can just kill all your apps there. Close all the tabs. And what you're going to do is just log off. So when you log off, your remote desktop session will go away. So that's how you connect to your virtual machine. Now if I want to get rid of my virtual machine, I can just shut that down as well. So that'll, this will shut down this operating system. Now it says it's turned off. Now if I look down here, I only have three operating systems. Plus, of course, I'm running Windows 8. Oops. So, anyways, hope you enjoy this.